Gemara Yibamot, that Memdal, that Alma Second is being studied, that Fua Shirema, Shimon, Ben, Simha, the Shaya Ben, Nora, El Narapan Nahem, with the Nepish, but the group of Tamkin Manabo, Behen Yer and Sumanamar Amen. We are starting on the Gimar Amud Bet, we are at the Mishnah, but Nitin, Arba Ahin, Nisuin, Arban Nashim. So you have four brothers. We're going to see actually there's more than four brothers, but the Mishnah tells us there's four brothers and they're married to. Four ladies, respectively. Vametu, and they all died. So now you have four ladies that are coming from four different houses. So they're all subject to either Yibum or Halitza. So it says, Imratza HaGadol Shebahem. Obviously, there was another brother around there. So if the Gadol Shebahem, if the oldest one, the Yabemit Kulam wants to make Yibum on all of them, so therefore we'll get four more wives. So make Yibum for each one of the uh, deceased, yeah. and there's no uh, Irva over there. Harish Shud, Biyado, he has every right to do that. Mishaya Nasui Nishte Nashim. Vamet, the guy was married to two or more wives, and then he died. So the law is that the brother does not have to be Miyabim or Tohonets, each one of the wives. Elawat, Biata, O Halitzata, Shalahat Mehem, Poteret Sarata. So either the Bia, or the halitza of one of them is put. These are obvious things that we've uh, been assuming throughout the whole masechet. But now the Mishnah finally is going to uh, prove these things from pesukim. Finally, the Mishnah says, "Ita had kishera, the had pesuda." Let's say one of the um, of the of the ladies of the deceased was kishera to marry a kohen, the had pesuda, which means let's say the uven was married to two ladies. One lady was a divorcee. Okay, Rabbi was married to the divorcee. He's allowed to. He's Israel. And he's also married to a, another lady. And then the Uven dies. So now Shimon is going to make Halitza. So the Mishnah comes along and says he should make Halitza on the Girusha. Because anyway, the Girusha is Pesula to a Kohen. So therefore, she's anyway in balance. So why ruin a Keshera that would be able to marry a Kohen? So they will let him make the Halitza to the to, to, to the Pesula, right. and leave the Keshera intact. The Gemara will tell us, the Semara, we've seen this already above. And if he wants to make Yibum, he can make Yibum even to the Keshera, which means there's no preference. When it comes to Yibum, he can make Yibum to either one he wants. And now the Gemara comes along and begins. Which means the Mishnah said four brothers, <coughs> and they all died. And then you already have the Gadol, it's going to make you boom. Where's there a Gadol? It says there's four brothers. So the Yabura says, Ela Ema Arba'a Me Achi, four from the brothers, which means really there is more than uh, uh, four, four brothers. Maybe there's five or six brothers. And therefore the Mishnah is coming along to say that one of the brothers can make you boom on all four. So it says, Hadishud Me Ado. If he wants to, they let him marry all four. The Gemara says, Are they going to actually leave him and let him make you boom on all four? We have a bright that the Pasuk says in the Varim, and the bright child comes and learns over here from the words, and they call the Yabam himself. That means they have to summon the Yabam himself and they don't summon him. Shalia, meaning the Zekinim, the Bedin itself, with the Biru Elab, and they speak to him. And what does the Bedin tell the Yabam? They give him what we call proper advice. For example, Shimayahu Yele, let's say he was a young guy, and she's an old lady, or the opposite, which is not a compatible marriage. Already he's an old man. She's a young lady. Omnim lo, panecha etzel yalda. What are you taking a, a young girl, you're an old man already? What are you taking up? They try to talk him out of it. Oh, malecha etzel zekena. You're a young guy, you can have a big family when he's marrying a zekena. Klach etzel shekemotcha. Go marry somebody your own age. Ve'al tasim ketata bebetecha. Which means, do not bring 
strife into your house. If you marry uh, different ages, so they don't get along. So therefore, he said, well, they advise them not to do it. So the Yabara is saying, similarly, they should come along and give them advice not to marry four ladies, uh, which means Koshiken uh, is going to be Ketata in the house over here. Like the, 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 the Bala Turim said, that there's two times in the Torah that it's, there's a pasuk that begins with the word Velo. Velo Vav Lamid Vav. One pasuk is velo shete nashim. That's by Elkanah. And the other pasuk is in Tehillim, velo hechin kele mavet. So therefore he says, velo shete nashim, velo hechin kele mavet. Which means that if a person is going to have many wives, there's going to be machlokot. After all, even the second wife, what do we call her in the home Masechet? Sarah. What's it, Sarah? A rival. So therefore, you see over here, so how can you let the guy marry for? They should go give him advice, just like they're advising him. Don't marry somebody too old. Don't marry somebody too so young. They should say, hey, listen, give somebody else a chance. You're taking all four. It's not going to be good. The Gemara says, no, we're talking about over here that he could, he could afford it. So we're not worried about the machlokot so much. The guy has a lot of money. He can afford each one of his wives properly, and therefore it's okay. So the Gemara says, wait, if he can afford it, he afilu tuva nameh. Why did the Mishnah only give a case of four brothers? Give, give a case of ten brothers. And they all died. And they let this guy marry ten wives. And therefore, if he could afford it, uh, good luck to him. So the Gemara said, no. What's the Etzah Tova? The advice. Which means we want to give each lady at least Time with the husband. So therefore, each lady will get one week. But if he averages already more, so then already they're going to take away from the owner. So at least at least they get one time a month, at least they'll be able to, to go. If we read, read the Rashi over here, Ona should tamid hakam me'erem Shabbat me'erem Shabbat. Tamid hakamim, when do they have the Ona? On Friday night. Like it says in the Pasuk, Veshameru b'nei Yisrael et Shabbat. So you see what? The Bi'ah is on, is on Shabbat. Shabbat, Shabbat. Like it says, Asher Piriyo Yiten Be'ito. And therefore, the Mate Lechol Chada, or Rabbi Chodesh. So every first four Friday nights in the month, he has four wives. Okay, so therefore, he has, uh, makes it. But once he has more than one wife, more than five, more than four, now I already have a problem of the Ona. So that's the Etzah Tuma. Mi Shayan Nasui. Okay, now the Gemara over here is going to take things that we assume. Again, these are things that we assume pashut. The Gemara now is going to turn everything upside down until it brings it back to its original understanding. So we said, a guy was married to two wives. And then what? He died. So we said, either make a bi'ah or a halitza to one. And that's it. It exempts the whole family from the, uh, from the, uh, from the Ibu. So the Gemara says, I don't understand. Why don't you make a boom on both? Which means that he has a zika on both wives. So therefore, the chaura, why does one portray the other? We should make a, if there's a zika on both wives to, towards him, we should make a boom on both in order to consummate the uh, zika. So how does the boom on one break the zika of the, of the other? Amar Bihayabar Abba, Amar Bihanan, Amar Kera, as we have against that the Katuf. I'm reading the Gemara now. So Bet Achiv sounds like singular, not, uh, pl- not plural. Mm-hmm. He only builds one house, house referring to his wife, but he doesn't have to build two houses. And therefore he does not take two wives. Fine. So the Gemara then says, he should make chalitza to both. What's the Gemara's question? Which means, let's say a guy's married to two wives and he wants to divorce them. He doesn't give a get to one and then the other one automatically is free. He has to give a get to both. So therefore the same logic should be what? And when he's making chalitza, he should make chalitza to both. Mm-hmm. I understand you're telling me that we have a kiss and the katum the gabe yibu. But the gabe chalitza the chawna, let him give two chalitza. Amar mor tubya. Amar Kira Bet Halut Sanaal. 
again, the pasuk says, Bet Chalutz. Bet is again singular. Bayit Echad, Ucholetz, Ben Cholet, Shene Batim. So they learn over there, no, you only have to make Chalitza to one house, but not to two houses. Fine. So the Gemara then asks, Unyabem Lechada, Ben Chalutz Lechada. No problem. You told me there's one Yibu per family, and there's one Chalitza per family. Good. So they will do Yibum to one and do Halitza to the other. It's not going against any of the Pesukim we just learned. So the Gemara says, Amal Kera lo Yahpos, which means if the guy does not want to take the Yibama, so we said he should make Halitza. Ha Hafetz, but if he wants, Yibim, which means the Pesuk is coming along to say what? The guy was able to make Yibum. So therefore we have a choice. We learned here a great lesson. That if you if, if a guy doesn't want to make yibum, he can make chalitza, which teaches us the law that we learned many times. Kol ole li yibum, ole la chalitza. Because she en ole li yibum, en ole la chalitza. Only some lady or man that can make a yibum, then there is a chalitza. But if she's not ole li yibum, there's no deen of chalitza. So that's what the pasuk says. If he doesn't want to make yibum, he can make chalitza. Now we go back to this case over here. In this case, over we ask, let him make you boom on one and Halitza on the other. Wait, he cannot make you boom on the second one because we learned already he cannot make you boom on two. So if he cannot make you boom on the second one, he cannot make Halitza either because we just learned Kola Ole Le Yibum Ole La Halitza because she ain't Ole Le Yibum, ain't Ole La Halitza. And since already we said you can't make you boom on both, so if you can't make you boom on the second one, you cannot make Halitza either. The odd and the Gemara says another reason. We don't want the people to say, oh, look at this over here. He built half the house and he uh, broke half the house. He made the boom on half the house and he made Halitza. So the Gemara says, what, what, what's the big uh, avon if the people are going to say that? The Gemara says, which means if he makes Yibum first and then makes Khalitza after, okay, big deal. So, he, so what do he do? Uh, 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 a waste of spit. That's all it is. But can, if you're going to do the Khalitza first, and then once you made Khalitza, you broke, you broke, you broke it up. Now we're going to make Yibum. The law says that once already you broke it, Shuv lo Yivne. There's the Isu, love, that you're not allowed to build the family after you already broke it. So therefore, we're concerned that if you're going to let them make a uh, 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 yibum and then halitza, they might come to make halitza and then yibum. So the Gemara says, the Emma. So the Gemara is continuing to say over here, which means I understand when there's two ladies, you cannot yeah. make yibum and halitza. You make one and it's poter the other. However, the Gemara comes along and says, the Emma ki ikahada. Which means maybe the Pasuk is only talking about when there's one Yibama. Maybe when there's one Yibama, then you should fulfill the Mitzvah of Yibum. However, when there's two wives or more, Lord Titkayim Mitzvah Yibum, maybe we should not fulfill this at all. Which means all we learn over here is Bayatihan. Okay. That's where the bayit had. So maybe the pasuk is coming along to say that maybe only when there's bayit they had, that's when one wife, exactly. But maybe when there's more than one bayit, maybe the laws of Yibum and Halitza don't even work in the uh, in the first place. That's a big hadush over there. So Gemara says, In ken sarat erba da'asar lambali. Remember, we don't have a case. Remember we learned in the Mishnah Aleph, Dabit. What did we learn? That is a tzarat erba. Reuven is married to his niece, and he's married to another lady. Reuven dies. Now Shimon, his daughter falls to him. Now that is already erba. So therefore we said, not only is the daughter forbidden, but the tzarat erba, the tzarat also is going to be forbidden. Hold it. If you're telling me that there's never a case where there's, where there's two wives, there's no yibum and halitza, so therefore what do you have to bring me a proof that there's no tzarat erba, she doesn't fall. <coughs> Even if they were both kosher, they don't fall. So therefore, you don't have to tell me tzadat Never when there's two. Ela must be 
that when there's two, they normally fall. And therefore, we need a pasuk to come in tummy. So that is a suit. And the Gemara asked the question. You told me two regular kosher wives in Hadamina are not bene yibum and bene halitza. So the Gemara said, No, I'll tell you. Why not? It's tarikh. I could tell you really what that maybe there's no yibum by two. But I would think that when there's a tzarat erva, it's not two. Because remember, we always learned the erva doesn't fall. So if the erva doesn't fall, I would consider it as if it's only one. Sal kadadachamina erva abbarai kaima. Means abbarai, barra, she's outside. The, the tzara, the erva is outside, she doesn't fall bichlal. And therefore, the titiabim tzarata, so the tzara should fall because only one. Therefore, kamash mala dasira. And therefore, the, the, the Pashuk of Sarat Irak comes and teaches me that the Sarat is going to be a source. And I'm back to the question. How do you know that maybe when both, there's two wives, how do you know there's Yibum and Halitza? So the Gemara says, Ela Yibim To Yibim To Riba, which means we have the Pesukim, it says the word Yibim To extra times. And from the fact that it says the word Yibim To, Yibim To, that's how we know that there's Yibum even in the case of more than one. Wife, multiple wives. Haita ahad kishira. So what do we say at the end of the Mishnah? If one of the wives was kishira, meaning kishira le kehuna, mm-hmm. and one of the wives was pesula, meaning pesula le kehuna, uh, she he, he, he married a regular lady, and he married a divorcee. No problem for the uven. Then the uven died. So now the pasuk says Shimon, if he wants to make halitza, let him make halitza on the girusha, mm-hmm. not to spoil the kishira to a kohen. Mm-hmm. So the Gemara learns a lesson over here. Amar of Yosef, Kan Shana Rebi, Eh Rebi Torah Se'i Musar. What's the Musar? Lo Yishpoch Adam Meboro. A guy's got extra water. Meboro, so what does he throw it away? What do you have to throw away for? Me'achirim Shilichim Nahim. Let somebody else benefit from it. Which means over here, why should you, you have a choice to do something that's not going to hurt somebody else. So why should you spoil the uh, Keshira to the Kohen, she's already in Pesula, so therefore don't spoil something, even though it doesn't affect you, but it's going to affect somebody else, so therefore, if you can benefit somebody else, why don't you do that? Matnitin, a ma'zid girushato. Now, normally, when we say ma'zid girushato, it's a mitzvah to marry, remarry your divorcee, but not in this case. In this case, in the Mishnah, we're talking about where she got married to somebody else in between. Nuven was married to Rachel. And then they got divorced. Nachel then married Shimon. And then they got divorced. Okay, she's not so lucky. And then what? Now the Uvin took her back. Halakha says that once she goes to marry somebody else in between, it is a So now the Uvin is married the Isud. He took a Girusha back. That's the first case. That's also an Isud. Let's say he made Halitza. So once you make Halitza, you cannot take her back. So therefore, he ended up marrying her is, uh, is, uh, is Halutza. And now, you're not allowed to marry the relatives of the one you made Halutza to. We imagine that the one you made Halutza to is like a divorcee. And therefore, just like a person is not allowed to marry the relatives of his divorced wife, therefore, he's not allowed to marry the relatives of his Halutza. So all these cases have in common. What do they have in common? He married Be Isur. So the Mishnah says, Yotzi. Yotzi means he's got to give again. That means this opinion holds that since these Isurim over here are only Isur Lav. So therefore, Isur Lav, the Kiddushin is Tofes. And therefore, yeah, you tell him you got to get out. But how do you get out? You can't just walk away. You have to give a get. holds. Yes, Mamzerin, Mehyebe, Lavin. That we don't uh, hold like that. We hold Bami Sukkarev. But the Biakiba says, no, you don't need a big Isud. Even Isud love like this is going to generate a uh, Mamzer. Now, Bachamim Omrim, En Abalad Mamzer. Bachamim say, no, sir. Although he might need a get, but it does not make the, and it's Isud marriage, but it does not make a Vlad, Mamzer, Hachamim will argue and they're going to say that Vlad only becomes from Isura Kareh. 
ומודי, ודחמין אגרי, בנושא כרובד גירושתו, שהבלעד ממזר. That if a person marries the relatives of his girusha, although we didn't see that in the Mishnah, by the way, that wasn't one of the cases, but Mudim, that's, that's going to be the question in the Gemara. Where, where, where did we see this case? That the Modeh, there was obviously a Chamim Modeh to Rabbi Akiva, but Rabbi Akiva didn't mention that case. Okay, but nonetheless, the Gemara will analyze that. What is no Sekerov and Girushato? The relatives of his Girusha, that's going to be the Isur Karet, because his girusha is like his wife for practical purposes. And just like when a person's married, all the relatives become forbidden. So too, if he, if he divorces her, he cannot marry her mother, he cannot marry her sister. And all those will be sued, karet, and therefore there's going to be mamzerut according to everybody, even according to hacha me. Very good. Now the Gemara comes along and says, besabar abi akiba. What are the cases he said was in Yaqiba? What does that mean? He made Halutza to a lady. Okay. Now he wants to marry that Halutza's sister. Or he wants to marry that Halutza's mother. Now, how could you come along and say that the Balad is Mamzer? Why? We learned from Rishtakish, Rama Rishtakish, Kan Shana Rabbi. Achot Gerusha Medivre Torah. Achot Chalutza Medivre Sofrim. That the sister of Chalutza is only Asumad Rabbanan. Achot Gerusha is Asumad Oraita. So how can you say Asumad Rabbanan is going to bring a Mamzer? How can you say it's going to bring a Mamzer? So the Gabbara says, Tini Kerobat Gerusha To. Here we go. Change the Mishnah. Instead of saying kirovat halutzato, which does not bring mamzeru, change the word from halutzato to gerushato, and therefore the relative of his gerusha is like the relative of his wife, and therefore it's be isur karet actually, and therefore the law is that it's going to bring mamzeru. So the Gemara comes along and says, "Achen amem stop." It makes sense to say that the Girsah and the Mishnah is Kerovet Yerushato. Diktani Sefa. What does it say at the end of the Mishnah? Umodim, meaning the Hakamim Amodev, Benose Kerovet Yerushato Shemrat Bamzet. I Amar Mishnama Ayriba Hain Diktani Umodim. Which means that even though the Hakamim argued on the other cases of Rabbi Akiva, on Mazir Yerushato, or no say uh, halutzato that they argued and said the Balad is not a mamzer. They will agree on one of the cases of Rabbi Akiva. Which the case they will agree on? No say kerovet gerushato. And since he mentioned it, it makes sense that the end of the Mishnah is referring to it. But if you're saying there's no gersa in the Mishnah of kerovet gerushato, my umodim. Why does it mean modim? It was never discussed. Which means, why does the Mishnah mention this case where it was not discussed even in the Resha? The Vedilma, I don't understand. Maybe the Hadush of the Mishnah is Akam Ashmalan, the Yeshmam Zin, the The Mishnah is exactly coming to teach that. The Mishnah is coming to say that Rachamim will say there's only Mamzer, Behebekinitu. And had the Mishnah say that, the Mishnah said it by giving you a case of Kiro Bet Yerushato. She said, Biaki, man, this in the Resha said what? He said, "Yes, Mamzer mechibel Lavi." Rachamim are coming along to say, "No, yes, karet. At yes, Mamzer afilu mechibel. I'm sorry, not afilu only mechibel karet. And what's the case of mechibel karet? The Mishnah gave an example, an example that was not brought in the Nesha, but you gave an example. What they say, Girushat Ishto, Kirovat Ishto, Girushato." The Gemara says, "No, I don't need a Mishnah to come and tell me that me that Rachamim's opinion is." That there's Mamzer from Chaybek Kinitu. That's the whole Hadush of the Mishnah. I don't need it. You know why? It's a bit finish Mishnah later on. Why would it send that 49? Ezehu Mamzer, Kol She'er Basad, Shehu Belo Yavo. The Biakiva says any Isur of Lota Aser, that makes a Mamzer. The very Biakiva. The Bishab on Hatimni, what does he say? 
כל שחייבין עליו כלב בידי שמיים. אז זה בשמות. בהלכה כדבריו. And therefore, we know already from later on that you can only get, according to me, Shimon, a, uh, a, a mamzer from a bekanet. So why does the Mishnah have to say, unless you tell me that since Rabbi Akiva mentioned Kirov ben Gerushato, so that's why the Achamim are going to come and say, now Mishnah, we agree with you on that case. But if that case is not mentioned, I don't need them to tell me the general rule of mamzer ben bekanet. Because that's learned already from later on. Vedilma kasatim lantana kerebi shemon atimni, which means maybe you're right. Rabbi Akiva did not mention kerovat gerushato, but the Mishnah is coming to teach me what that we have a stam Mishnah because the Mishnah said hachamim, and what's hachamim stam, and it's coming to tell me what stam Mishnah like the shita of the bishemon atimni. In ke litishar chibe kiritu. So why do you only list one case of Ibn Kiritut? List all of them. Kerovit Girushato Lamali. Why do you only pick that case? Ela Shma Mina Ayriba. Ela, what must be because Rabbi Akiba was talking about that case. And in the Resha Rabbi Akiba said Kerovit Girushato is Mamza. And he added, he included that in the other cases of Mahzi Girushato and Noseh Halutzato. And that's why the Sefa said, no, Akhirima only Mode. In one of the three, what's the one of the three? Kerov and Gerushato, and therefore that makes sense. So Gemara says, Maybe Rabbi Akiva never mentioned Kerov and Gerushato, and the Tana is coming to what to make a stab like Rabbi Shimon at Timni. So then we said, so then why are you picking this case? Why you pick all the cases of Kerov? I need the Tani Ma'azir Gerushato. Since we already mentioned in the Mishnah, one case was Mahzi Girushato, and one case was what? Nosei uh, Halutzato. So then we gave a, a case that's, uh, that's connecting to it. What's the case that's connecting to it? Nosei Adam, if a person marries, Kirobat Girushato. That means, really, we could have picked all the Karet cases. So why did we pick this case? Because the Nesha has discussed Cases of a Gerusha and cases of a Kikarov. Uh, so then we mention that case. So at this point, the Botai, we're saying that really what in the Resha of the Mishnah, the Biakiba did not mention Kerovet Gerushato. Mm-hmm. He only mentioned Kerovet Halutzato. And why is the Sefa of the Mishnah, who is it going like? The Sefa is stabbed like Rabbi Shimon at Timni, that teaches us that Mamzer comes from Hiber. Red, very good. And why did you choose the case of Kerovet Girushato? Because I did the Resha talked about similar cases. The Seba also talked about similar cases. So the Yamara comes along and says, wait, we have a problem. Because if you're going to follow the Girsa of the Mishnah, a Mishnah is coming to tell you that Kerovet Halutzato is Mamzer. How could Kerovet Halutzato be Mamzer? That's the Girsa that we have. I thought we said it's only midrabanan. So he says, "Ela kerovet halutzaton Rabbi Akiva have mamzer." How? Amar b'chia bar Abba bar Yohana nai taba Rabbi Akiva. Amar kera bet halutz anal hakatuv kera o beto. And even though he's making halitza, what is the pasuk refer to as bet halutz? That sounds like it's his wife. It's his wife that he made a halitza with. So therefore, it's like a wife that he gave divorce. And it was just like Kirovat uh, Kirushato is going to make bring a Isur Karet, I mean, Isur Mamzer. So too, according to the Akiva, Bet Halutz. It's considered like his wife. He has a pasuk. So, so bottom line, he holds that Minat Torah, not only is Kirovat Kirushato, Asura, but also Kirovat Halutzato is going to be. So that is the big Hadush of. Of Rabbi Akiva. And obviously, that she on the bottom over here says, Akatuv Kirao Beto, Velet Les Tamad the Matitim Beresh Pitkin. Remember, we learned in the Masech and Adap Ben Alep a few days ago. Ahonets Li Bimto, Venasa Ahibit Ahota Umed, Honets it, Rabbi Akiva, Petura Legam. Exactly. According to the Stamish that we learned later on, a guy made Halitza, says Yebama. 
and then his brother, which is okay, married her sister, and then died. So it says, so he has to make Halitza now on that girl. Because in the Torah, she is permissible to them, according to Rabbanan. But Rabbanan, that's always true to Rabbanan. So the woman, they were right, they have to make Halitza. But according to Akiva, she will not fall. That's why Akiva, Petula Legamre. Why? Because she doesn't fall. Because she is what? She is Achot Halutzato. And Achot Halutzato is Asura Minatura. Quite the B. Akiva. Amar of Yosef. Amar of Yishmor. Bar the B. Akol Modim. Everybody agrees. The Mazir Gerushato. Now we get to a new issue. Okay, guys, Mazir Gerushato. What? After she marries somebody else. Okay, so he's marrying Bay Sud. What's the status of the kid? Of the girl, a girl is born. No, that's that's so dark. The fear of Bishop or Timni and of Aladdin, they're not looking about what's the question the Gabe the child's status of marriage. So it says, Shabbalad Pagum the Kiruna that even according to Achamim that hold that the kid's not a Mamzer, but the kid's going to be Pagum the girl to marry. Why? Like a halala. Now hold it. This is not a halala. Halala is only when you have a kohen that marries a divorcee. Kohen marries a divorcee. The child is called halala. It wasn't a kohen that married a divorcee. It's a regular Israel. Okay, he married a isur because she's mazik and she got married in between. The hadush of here is that that isur marriage will create a quasi or a type of halala. So it says over here, man ha kol modin. Who's the kol modin? Shimon ha timni. Has to be. The af al gav damar Shimon ha timni. En mamzer mechibe lavin. Even though Shimon ha timni says, there's no mamzer over here. However, nehi de mamzer lo have what? The, the kid is going to be Hazagabaruch. Pagum the Kehuna. It says, how do we know it from? From a Kalbahomer. What's the Kalbahomer? Uma Kalbahomer me Almana. Now we know Almana cannot marry a Kohen Gadol. Right? So Pasuk says, Uma Almana the Kohen Gadol. Shein is Sura Shave Bakon. Not everybody's a Sutra Almana. Only the Queen Gadol is a Sura Almana. That's called In is Sura Shave Bakon. It's only a Sutra Queen Gadol, which means it's a limited issue. And still, what happens to the child from Almana to Queen Gadol? Bena Pagum. The child from Almana to Queen Gadol is Pagum. Ah, Zush is Sura Shave Bakon. Mazir Giru Shato. After she got married to somebody else, it's the surah shemel akol. That's a surah according to everybody and to everybody. So therefore, in odin shemena pagu, or the most of the child to become pagu. Again, because she can marry a Israel almana, regular almana, not shemel akol. Right, regular almana. That's mutad to everybody. It's just limited isur, which is not so hamur. Only limited to a kohen gadol, and still, what happens? The kid becomes a the girl becomes halala, pagum. <clears throat> so this, which is a type of marriage that's a suit to everybody. Mm-hmm. If she got married to somebody else, it's a suit to everybody. It's a strict issue. When it's, when it's crossed the board, it's more strict. So certainly it should create a pagu. The governor says, no, what are you talking about? We're calling it, we're calling it a sort of everybody. It's really only a sort of the... No, no, the that is issue, no, but that issue is on every single Jew. Yeah, applies. applies. Anybody, in that, anybody in that situation is a suit. Almana is only for Kohen Gadol. Right, right. Everybody has that situation. We mutat married Almana. Right, so the Gemara right. says, "Ika le Mifrach ma'ala Almana shekini atzma mitchalelet." Maybe the reason why the child of the Almana to the Kohen Gadol becomes a halala is because she becomes a halala. The law is that once the Kohen goes with the Almana, she becomes halala right. herself. So maybe that's why the kid becomes halala right. because. It's the Isud is so strong, you can make her a halala. But she ain't came by Mazi Girushato. It doesn't make the Girusha a halala. So maybe the child will not be Pagu. That's the Gemara's question. So 
So the Gemara comes along and says, let's just read, David, read the top that she shekeni atzma metaleret. How do we know that she herself becomes a halala? That's the Hadus, which means let's say he dies, not his Kohen Gadol. So now we know that a regular Kohen Gadol can marry an Almana, but cannot marry this Almana because through the Bia of the Kohen Gadol, it made her a Halala. Now, even the Almana is a Surah to a regular Kohen Gadol. No, Yahalel, Yahalel, double language, not no Yahel. Had the Isha, the Had, the Mazaro, Magu, but if you can see. Same thing, let's say she's the daughter of a Kohen. Same story, that's Almana. Normally, what happens when the husband dies without children, she goes back to her father's house to eat tiruma. But not in this case, because since she went with a Kohen Gadol, it makes her a halala. So even though she's a bad Kohen, when she goes back to her father's house, she cannot eat tiruma. Right, exactly. Does this be a of the Ma'zir Giru Shato after she got married to somebody else, Posela to Kehuna. She was pursued to Kehuna anyway. She was pursued to Kehuna when she was a divorce the first time. So there was not that this Bia was Osir her. She was Osir Romanin. So there were maybe such a Bia that's not Osir her or Posela to Kehuna will not make the children halalim. <laughs> Right, and she doesn't become pasul le tiruma, which means let's say the husband dies, she can go back to her father's house, she can eat tiruma. So then, the Gemara is asking over here, how do you know that indeed the mazid girusha, when she got married in between, the child you want to say is pagum? How do you know the kalbachomer is not a good kalbachomer because we just were nefrichet beod? The pasuk says that when a person takes back his Girusha after she got married, he to eba he, it says she is disgusting, she is abominable. The Gemara says, he to eba en banea to avim. Now you see what? She is abominable, not her children. So you see again that the children of the Mazi Girusha are not going to be begumi. So we have a kava home we broke. We have a Gizat Katub, he to Eva, the end Baneha to Abi. We all Tanya. We have a Tosefta now. Abba Hazir Girushato. Van no se Hadusato. Van no se Kirobat Hadusato. These are all the cases that we have in the Mishnah. The B Akiva Omer, and no ba Kidushin. Oh, it's big Hadush. The B Akiva is saying, that since it's Hibel Lavi, the Kiddushin is not even Hal. So now the Biyakiva, not like the Mishnah. The Biyakiva holds over here that when you have a Kiddushin, the Hibel Lavi, it's not Tofes. Not like the Mishnah. This is saying over here, you don't even get. Not only that, the Hi Pesula. She's going to be forbidden to marry a Kohen. Why could she marry a queen, this lady? Let's say her husband dies. Because she becomes Zona. Why did she become a Zona? Because she went with somebody that was a Surta. And then was she Zona? Vevlada Pasul. Here you go. And the child is only a Mamzer. What did we have to kids? A Mamzer. And we forced them to break up. They don't need to get, but we forced them to break up. Yes, to back Kedushin. Hakamim say no. Kedushin is to fast behavior of being, and therefore, with Sricha Emenu get, and for the need I get, the he Keshera, here it is, Uvlada Kasher. She is Keshera, and what? The child is also Kasher. So the Gemara says, wait, Leman. When you say the child of this, let's say, Mazir Gilusatu is Kasher. Leman. Lav the Kehuna. 
must be to the kiuna. So you see from what? How can you tell me above that the child of a mazir girushato is pagum? We see over here that clearly the child, according to Achamim, it says, kasher, mazir kasher, kasher le kiuna. The Yemara says, la, really, pasu le kiuna. But what does it mean, kasher? La kahal. Because the B Akiva held what? That the kid from Hebe Lavin is a Mamzer. And therefore, according to B Akiva, Asu the Kahal. And the Fi Akabi, Mutar, Kasher, Kasher Lema, the Kahal. Abalo, the Kehuna. Yahe, he Kishira Lema. Now wait. When you said she's Kishira, the lady. And we'll take the case. He married Giru Shato after she got married to somebody else. And then he died. It says his wife is Kishira. Kishira the what? Idim ala kahal peshita. Of course, she's not a mamzeret. Why, why should she be permitted to the kahal? Of course, she's permissible to the kahal. Mishum de zanya. If she's not a kahal, she's because she made zanut, meaning she did it isur. That doesn't possess her to the kahal. The kahal has no restriction of marrying a zona. Ella love the kehuna. Ella must be when it says he. Kishira. Uh, 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 it must be. That she's kishira to the kehuna. Abotai. Now, we we'll have to see which case exactly she can be kishira. Obviously, she cannot be kishira if she's mahzik in And we have to say that this case is going back on only kerovet halutzato. On the case of the of the, of the halutza. Or the case, I'm sorry, uh, 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 he's taking back the halutza. Because the halutza is only asur midrabanan to marry. Go ahead. But in uh, Torah, uh, it would be permissible. So therefore, you have to say, when it says, Kishina, so Kerovit Halutzato, what's the Kerovit Halutzato? The relatives of his Halutza uh, are going to, which means normally we say, well, you shouldn't marry Kerovit Halutzato. You shouldn't marry. You shouldn't marry Kerovit Halutzato. The sister, let's say, of the Halutza. But in that marriage, it's not going to posel her to Kehuna. Fine. So then when it says, Vihi Kishira, it's referring to she's kishira to kiuna. So the Gemara says, umidei le kiuna, just like when you said she's kishira to kiuna, velada nami le kiuna. Why do you want to split velada and he? Again, according to Akhamim, what do we say in these cases? Both the wife and the child are kishira. Kishira nema. So the Gemara says, listen, just like she is kishira to kiuna, because it doesn't make sense to say Kishra the Kahal. Why shouldn't she be Kishra the Kahal? So, therefore, must be the Valan also Kishra means the Kehuna. And therefore, from here we see what? That the child of these situations is not Pagum. The Yabara says, I don't know what you're talking about. Which means, why can't you split it? What's the problem? What's so difficult? Meaning, when it's talking about the wife, it's talking about she's Kishra. The kehuna, and when it's talking about the child, it means the kahal, and not the kehuna. Why can't you split it? Which is what everything has to be the same. The Gemara was assuming, oh, just like he kishinah the kehuna, vadat the kehuna. Why? Maybe he kishinah the kehuna, the vadat kishen the kahal, as opposed to the biakiva that was also the kid to the kahal. Hakamim will say the kid will tell you, but the kehuna so. They were, it's very good that in the Kalami, the children of these forbidden marriages will be Pagum the Kehuna. And the Gemara says, Guess what? I'm going to show you it makes sense to split it. I'm going to show you it makes sense to split it. Mr. Bra. Why? The Ketani Resha. Let's go to the first case. He Pesula Uvlada Pasul. In the beginning of the Mishnah, the Biakiba. Let's go back to the Biakiba about that. What was the case of Yakima? All these cases, no say Yerushato, and no say Ekerovet Hanutzato, all these cases, no say Hanutzato. So what did Yakima say? She is Pesula, because we said she becomes a Zona, and the child is going to be Pasul. Now let's look at that ourselves. She's Pesula to who? She is Pesula. Oh, she's been. Pe- Everybody, she's pesula to the kahal. She's pesula because she's a, no, she's not, not she. She's not the mamzer. She's the wife. 
she's oh. only Bishnat to Kohen because she becomes Zona with this uh, relationship, she becomes a Halala with this relationship. So therefore, when it comes to her, what are we saying? She's Bishnat to Kohen. When it comes to the kid, what are we saying? Bishnat to So you see, in the Akira, we're dividing, we're splitting it. We're saying that the Pasul of the lady is on Kehuna, and the Pasul of the kid is on to everybody. So were, just like you split it in Rabbi Akiva, why don't yeah. you split it in Akiva? We'll read it inside now. He pesula lema. When you said the wife of these cases is pesula too. Ini malakahal. Why she pesula kahal? Meshum dezanya. I've said alakad because she minutes nuch that pesula kahal. El alav lekeuna beauty. So she's pesula lekeuna. Who vlada pesula lema? Who's the vlad pesula too? Ini malakeuna. It can't be. What, the Kahal Kashir? But the Kahal Kashir? No. Ha'am Arabi Akiva, ha'am Alad, ha'am Zed. Ela Peshita, le Kahal. Omedresha, ha'gedeita, ha'gedeita. Sepaname, ha'gedeita, ha'gedeita. Rander? I'm a libo. So then, nice. And then, just like the Neresha, we split it. Again, just like the Neresha, the Fila Be Akiva, Hilak to Ben, Hapsul Shel Ha'isha, Lapsul Shel Ha'balad, so to me, absurd shla isha ze absurd kehuna, the absurd shla valad ze absurd mamzer the kahal who had din besefa. When Achamim said he pesula the valad kasher, we'll say he pesula to what to kehuna, meu kasher la kahal, la kahal aval the kehuna will be azur. And if we have no proof from this right, then I can say that really. The Vlad will be Pagu, the Kehuna. And we split the, uh, the, the Psul of the lady to the Keshut of the child. Oh, but the Gemara says, wait. Tabotai. We said, Hito'eva. Which it sounds like what? Hito'eva. The Mahzigur Shato. Now, if she got married. I'm an end Vlad. How are you going to get out of that? So the Gemara says, Hito'eva name. Which means that the tzara of this gerusha is not going to be a surah to yibu. Now let's say the uven. He married, he remarried his gerusha after she got married. Okay, he's married very soon. He has another wife. With this gerusha, he has another wife. Now the uven dies. So now it's not going to oser the tsara. He to eva the end sarata to which is now Shimon makes you boom with the tsara. We're not going to say that just like it doesn't make you boom with the isur wife that she's oser the tsara. No. So for he to eva the end sarata, but doesn't do the kids. But the kids, about bane to By the way, the he is only coming to exclude. The tzara, but not the kids. In the academy, the kids will be to'avim as well. Ah, the Gemara comes along and says, Ela almana kasha. What was the kasha that we had? Ma'ala almana shekin hi atzma mitchalelet. You remember we had the question? Let's go back. We had a come home from almana. What was the kavahomet? Uma almana she'en isura shave bakon. The kohen gadol. Vafiduat and still what the child will be pagum lekeuna. So mazigiru shato la hashin is said that's isura bakon lakon. Well, most of the children should be pagum. And the gemara says that's a good kavahomet. Why? Male almana she metalele and the atma. So the, I would have thought that only because she's metalele, that's why the kid becomes alma she and ken. Abotai, ma she and ken. Why the ma'zikin who she doesn't become metalele, maybe the kid does not become pagu. So how can you answer that? Gemara <coughs> says, Ela i itmar, hachi itmar. Amar Rabbi Yosef. Amar Bi Shimon Ben Rabbi, Hakol Modim. Beba al Chibek Yitut, Shapega Shabalat Pagum. Okay, now we have a new Hadith. <coughs> that everybody's Modet. 
that if a person goes with Chaybe Kiritut, and Chaybe Lavin, Chaybe Kiritut, that the Balad is going to be Pagum. Mana Kol Modin, what is Kol Modin? It can be Rabbi Akiva, because Rabbi Akiva holds the kids of Mamzerim. And even according to Rabbi Shimon, Chaybe Kiritut, the kids are Mamzerim. So what does it mean? Everybody is more there. Wow. The Yoshua holds the only Isur Mamzer comes from Hibe Mitot Bedin. Don't cheat that. But you can't do that Mitot Bedin. That makes a Mamzer. So even though this child over here is not going to be a mamzer, according to the B. Yoshua, need the mamzer lo avi. Pegum, mi avi. But it's big pagum. And what's the raya? Mi kalma homer, me almana. That what? And what's the kalma homer from almana? Ma almana. The Kohen Gadot Shein Sura Sheve Bakol. Ben Apagum Zu Shi Sura Sheve Bakol. Which means, this case over here, the Isura is Sheve Bakol. Nobody can marry a case of Isur Mitad Bedin. En Odin Shi Ben Apagum. Vichi Tema Mala Almana Shekeni Atzma Mithalele. Oh, you're going to ask me a question that no, maybe because the Almana herself becomes that's why the kid is pakum. Hakename, Yvan Shebeala, Asa Azona. She also becomes Asura. Because once already they made it a Bia, the Isur Kare, that makes her a Zona. So she also becomes like a Halala. And therefore, she cannot marry Kohen. So therefore, the Kavahomen works. Oh, that's just that's, 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 that's also Gana. We're using this Kavahomen of Almana to come along and say, that even according to the Yoshua, that says, normally mi isur karet, the kids are not mamzeri, only from chaybe mitot bedin, but a regular isur karet does not bring mamzeri, but uh, the kid will be asun the keona. How? Kal vachomer me almana. And I repeat, uma almana, she'en isura shabab bakol, and the child becomes pagum, do isur karet, she isura shabab bakol, Local chicken, and because it's going to become pagum. And don't ask me, ma the almanashi mitalelet, because Gam, this lady that went to Yisud Karet, is also mitalelet, because she's forbidden to marry Kohen, because she becomes a zona. And therefore, it's going to be pasur lekehuna. Let's read uh, the she over here, asa'a zona. <laughs> Right, which means why did the Gemara above when we were talking about the Mahzi Yiru Shato? So Gemara says, oh, by Mahzi Yiru Shato, she herself, the Gemara did not say, Asa Azona. By Mahzi Yiru Shato, didn't say Asa Azona. The Gemara broke the Kavahomer over there. The Gemara came along above and said, no, ma'ale almana that becomes mehmet mithalelet, ma she'eken, the ma'zik of the shantor, she doesn't become mithalelet. Why not? Maybe she doesn't. It's soon. He said, no, the only lady that becomes mithalelet as a zona is somebody that was always forbidden. Zar ikara. But since this lady was not a sur to him originally because of mutar, she did not become a zona. But isur karet, that's already zar, so let's review Rabotai, what is uh, coming out over here. It comes out that that when it's said above, a call modin be mazir kirushato, shabalad pagum nishuna, that statement over there, we have a hard time understanding because not everybody's going to be more there that the balad is going to be pasul, the kehuna, because maybe the balad will not become pasul. So the Gemara says, we have to change the girsah. And read it, what? 
Amar Rabbi Yosef, Akol Modim Bebal Chaybe Kiritut. Originally, the statement of Rabbi Yosef was what? Akol Modim Bemazik Girushato. We're changing that now. He never said that. We're saying Akol Modim Be... Be what? Bebal Chaybe Kiritut. That means, in a canary, maybe when Mazik Girushato, the kid will not be a Pasun Akehuna. Masheken, when he goes with his suit, Karet, Everybody, who's everybody? Even the Yoshua that says normally does not make a mamzer. In this case, he's going to be more there. That'll be posilik. But where we learn it from? Almana. And don't ask me, ma almana mitchalele. Because God, this lady of his also mitchalele. It comes to zona and pesula le kehuna. Are we clear, Abonai? No one answered question. What's the what's the relationship that's not karet but is the sewer bit in? Eshet ish. Eshet ish is not karet. It's karet. No, oh, you have other side. Nida. Not karet. It is karet, but it's not mita bedi. No, he's trying to say which mita bedi. In other words, what the is the they the Yosef? You, you have cases. You have cases where you have a karet but no mita bedi. A guy goes with a nida. Yeah, that's karet. But it's not mita bedi. So we're not making a mabzir according to the. Uh, 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 we have, we have uh, the case of Bat uh, Bito uh, uh, that was not written in the Torah. So, so in case that were not written explicitly in the Torah, where there's no punishment, but it's Yisur Karet. Right. But Rabbi Yehoshua doesn't say Yisur Karet. You need two things. You need, it's, we, usually it's Yisur Karet. If you don't get a, if you don't get a warning, right. it'll be Yisur Karet. But the point is, any type of relationship that is subject to it. Bat Kohen. Bat Kohen ki ta'en is not. The bad friend that commits a nut, what does it say? Ba'ish to Sarif. That's already a mitah of a bedin. A bedin, that can bring a mamzer. Ba'ishing a regular isud karet that does not have a mitah bedin attached to it. So then we're going to, it's not going to make a a karet. And Gibbara will give us, obviously, those uh, those cases over there when we get to the Mishnah on Daf Mem. That's going to be coming up over here at the end of the week. Baruch Amen, Amen. 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 Amen.